Okay. Show me. Hi there guys, welcome back to the Dutch Sea Channel. And what do I have for you today? Well, this is the Aurora 100 from Isheen or Banggood. And I've had a lot of fun with this uh, quadcopter. I quite like it, despite its uh, drawbacks, uh, the flip of death thing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, one thing, uh, one issue I have with this quadcopter here is that it is dead. <laughs> I was in the, actually in the process of testing these uh, prop cards when it uh, completely died on me. And what I think happened, I'm not 100% sure, but I think that this wire at some point came off. I hope that's visible. One of the motor to the ESC wires came off and it got into the electronics and shorted out things. Uh, that's well, that's all I can uh, really think of. So I want to at least change out the, the bottom board, the ESCs and the power distribution board. But yeah, I'd also like to tackle that flip of death thing. So I went uh, for a look for a, uh, an upgrade to this uh, flight stack in uh, these Auroras. And I came across uh, this uh, box over here, which is a complete uh, flight stack, as you can see. It has the receiver over here. In this case, I went for an uh, FR Sky receiver, by the way. Here is uh, the flight controller, but it is an F4 flight controller this time. So I went from an F3 to an F4. Um, yeah, I hope that will solve that uh, flip of death thing. Um, if I hadn't uh, busted up <laughs> my quadcopter, I probably wouldn't have done this upgrade. But, well, now that I uh, will uh, open it up, I wanted to upgrade things as well. And here is the ESC. And here is the ESC and PDB board. Now wiring this thing up will probably be mostly the same as in the old stack. Um, yeah, I'm assuming it will. So that won't be a problem. And if you have an uh, old version of this quadcopter, that should not be a problem for you as well. Uh, one thing I should note, and that is really different. This here is the flight controller, right? And as you might notice, it doesn't have a uh, USB connector. Now, they've actually gone and solved, or solved that uh, in two ways. You get a little here, this little daughter board over here, which has a USB connector on one side and a UART style of connector on the other side. And obviously they give you a connector cable for that. So with this setup, you either have the choice of uh, permanently mounting this uh, connector in your quadcopter, which is definitely a possibility. But if you want to save some weight, you can uh, leave it out and only use that uh, connector with the daughter board uh, when you want to uh, change settings, right? And they also have another option for that. They give you this, an, a USB cable with a, uh, a different style of connector over here, a UART style of connector. So that basically means you don't even need this daughter board and the wire. So that's pretty nice and it's actually uh, luxurious that, you, that they uh, uh, ship both options with this uh, flight stick. So I'm happy with that. And um, yeah, so uh, I'm not going to show you how things are connected as they are pretty much connected the same way as the previous, the old F3 flight stack. I'm going to install things and then we'll go out and see if this baby actually flies and has flips of death. So here we go. Ho, 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 hold your horses, Mr. Dutch RC. Uh, <laughs> I've uh, now built the quadcopter uh, with the new F4 stack. It flies, but there are uh, two things I need to uh, make note of. If you've ever taken one of these Aurora quadcopters apart, you know that in between the ESC layer and the flight controller layer, it has uh, this uh, power regulator to step down the uh, LiPo voltage to 5 volts for the flight controller, right? 
However, this new F4 board doesn't come with that. It can run uh, straight off of the flight lipo, so VBAT. Uh, here is a diagram of the new uh, flight controller, the F4 board. And as you can see at the bottom, it has a battery in pin pair. So you simply uh, solder up uh, a pair of wires uh, from your LiPo to that uh, pin pair on the flight controller and you're set. That's how you power the board. And I've tested that, it works. So, great. Okay, one other thing, my LED strip doesn't work at this moment. That's probably my own uh, doing. Um, I haven't really looked into that uh, much yet. Uh, it's not that important to me as I'm always flying these quadcopters uh, FPV. So uh, yeah, LED strip. Okay, uh, but uh, I'll look into that a little more uh, uh, once I have more time. Okay, and the last thing, my buzzer doesn't work. It just uh, crackles a bit. It should, uh, yeah, obviously buzz uh, or beep. And um, yeah, maybe I can let you hear that. You probably hear the motor beeping uh, more than the crackling of the, the buzzer. Yeah. It's not shorted out or anything. And there are more people complaining about uh, these um, receivers, the FR Sky receivers, uh, the Mini Cube FR Sky receivers, I should say, where the buzzer doesn't work. All right. So, uh, well, if you encounter that same problem, uh, just uh, write a message to uh, Banggood uh, with a little video uh, showing or letting them hear that your buzzer doesn't work. And I'm sure they'll uh, help you out, just like me. Okay, let's finally go out to the flying field and see if this baby actually flies. Here we go. Okay, so the Mini Cube. F4 from Ishin. I'm gonna be flying it uh, three packs long. Here, the stock lipo that come, uh, came with the the Aurora and two other uh, Genesis lipos. And well, if we can uh, get to through uh, three flights without a uh, flip of death, I'd call it a success. So, we'll uh, start with a uh, line of sight flight. So, here we go.
Okay, one flight down, a line of sight uh, flight, and uh, uh, telemetry lost. Um, yeah, no flips of death so far, which is uh, obviously good. Um, we'll now do uh, two RPV flights and see if we can uh, get through those without uh, flips. <laughs> uh, unwanted flips, <laughs> that is. Here we go. Okay, so uh, we have ourselves uh, a uh, fail. <laughs> uh, the first line of sight flight uh, went uh, just fine as you could uh, see. Second one, uh, well, you saw the flip and that flip definitely wasn't my doing. So um, yeah, I guess uh, this F4 version of the Mini Cube isn't your answer uh, for the flip of that thing. That's a shame, um, it did fly, other than that. Uh, well, but uh, well, still flip of death. That's uh, that's definitely a shame. And uh, yeah, if you have a solution for the flip of death thing, again, the F4 Mini Cube isn't it. All right. Hope this was uh, informative for you. Hope to catch you on the next video. Bye bye.